the best Tarkov wipe. That's what they're calling this. And I have to agree. I'm a veteran Tarkov player with 4,500 hours in the game, and with all its quirks and bugs, this is still my favorite game to play. And this wipe is absolutely the best. Today, you're gonna see all the highs and the lows of my wipe so far. This is my journey, and I gained invaluable knowledge that I want to share with you. So if you're struggling to survive or take down PMCs consistently, or maybe you just wanna make some easy millions, this is the video for you. And you'll want to watch this one till the very end. First raid. Ah, oh, that hurts my ears. All right, meds. Have I got head bobbing? Why is my head bobbing? Oh my God, I feel so... Oh. Do you have to hold that? This is the buggiest thing. Okay, right, let's go USEC. Wowzers. That's actually a sick helmet. Woods is the map I have the most hours on, and I wanted to do a quick raid here early on for the potential of some quest items. As you probably know, a lot of Tarkov players really despise this map, and that might just be something we could take advantage of. I don't really want to get ganked here, but we kind of need to loot. Holy shit. There's a guy here. Yeah, not exactly the start I was hoping for. That was actually a great angle from that guy. I sort of knew what direction he was in, yet I failed to spot him behind that dish. It's okay though, we run it back. Okay. Oh, and this is my first time playing Ground Zero. This looks like I'm about to blow up. Whoa, what the fuck is this animation? Okay, I feel sort of normal now. Okay. Yeah, it's my first time playing this map, so we'll see. Did I loot that? I saw a few clips of people spawning in mines before playing this map, so I was a little anxious. How about going out there, boys? Sky side. Being my first time on the map, I didn't have much of a clue where I was going. Thankfully, I did have a bit of help from a Twitch chat, though. Can I go this way or no? Oh, God, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Along with the mines on Ground Zero, there's also a safe room that's got a claymore set up in it. And this building was giving me the sort of vibes that that claymore room had. Being totally new to this map as well was a fresh reminder of how scary this game can feel. For now though, we're just trying to figure out where the terror group building is for the quest. And I haven't quite figured it out yet, but it's actually right across the road from the store I'm in now. So let's see how this one plays out. I'm on single fire, guys. Just wanted you all to know that. First PMC kill. He took uh, quite a few bullets from a man that looked quite fucking naked. He had a packer, mate. MCX. Wild. Ooh, that's big. Right, I need to figure out where I need to go. I feel like it's going to be a stairwell somewhere. Just eating and drinking as I go because food and water when you're a Timmy is kind of rough. This map seems a little bit complicated for a noob map, if you ask me. Right, are those the terror group buildings that I need to be in for the, one of the quests? I'm going to try and head there then. Oh wow, the recoil. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to go this way. What the f- I actually think this is a car park I need to be in. Oh, 
Ooh, that's good. All right, so I need to pick up a key here. Pretty sure. I feel like that's a dead player by the looks of it. Uh, who's that? That is a player. I think he left. Okay, so this is the body. No way. Okay, we bought that. That right there was a massive find. Typically, because the Tarkov servers were on fire when I tried to play day one of Wipe, it gave me a few hours to gather some intel about the Wipe. And one thing that was apparent, every man and his dog was on ground zero trying to take that key to do their quest. So yeah, big find, very lucky. Been extra cautious here, boys, because I've seen a lot of people get ratted here. Just do this, fuck it. I'm gonna eat and drink because it's probably been five minutes. Oh, there it is. I don't know if it's because there's a fire. I think that's what I'm hearing. Okay, I might just finish looting the filing cabinets. Just in case I get anything like... Like a Danex, I guess. Fuck okay, it, let's just try to get out with this. After the loss we had in the first raid, I was anxious to get my quest item and loot out of this one. It could be a big win for my second raid of the wipe. Jesus. Whoa. What is shooting there, guys? Stay tight left. Buy a scab on the 50 cal. Oh, I see it. It's there. Oh, I think the car's gone, lads. Yeah, it looks like the car's gone. I need to go somewhere else. Just vaulted on that. Can I go along? Oh, God. This guy's above me, right? Holy f That's in the middle of the street. An altercation here is not what I need. The only problem is I need to get past him in order to reach my extract. At the time though, I didn't really know what way my extract was. Pushing across the street like this was a little risky, but if I got away with it, it'd allow me to fight this guy from a much easier angle. I'm just gonna have a little look. Can I not go down this way? Oh goodness. Panic was starting to set in. And remember, this was day one of the wipe. There weren't any maps yet, so it was a little hairy trying to figure out where to go.
I need to go down the road where the guy was was shooting at me. What? You're going the wrong way, guys. This is uh, that you can't see this guy. It's so difficult. I can't leave, I can't leave. Oh, I can't leave this. Oh, I can't leave this. I killed the BMC. I just need a mag that has stuff in. Holy. Holy shit, guys. Evasion armband. Okay. Whoa! Homie got wires. I didn't have a backpack, did I? This guy does, though. Sheesh. Kind of want all this. Isn't it lovely? Sorry. I don't need that black rock, but it is what it is. Okay, right. Now where am I going, guys? <laughs> the X-ray is at the end of the road to the left. Thank you so much. I love you. Ah, there it is. Akatani. Guys, thank you for bearing with me. This is uh, this is my first raid on this map, so I literally have like really nothing to compare this to. Ready. I'm ready. Oh! Woohoo! Woohoo! Wow. Wow. That was a huge raid as well. <laughs> and now stuck in a loading screen. <laughs> That was a massive second raid, and definitely the result I was hoping for after dying in the first. To recap, we got a couple of kills, an important quest, and an unholy amount of scav kills. I can't complain. With that in mind, we need to find some mounted weapons and the Emicon medical tents. Oh, you're right. Yeah, there it is. Got my perspective a little bit off there. The scavs patrol in here. That's a scav. That is in fact not a scav. There's a lot of people. Right, let's see how long I last in this one. After getting a little bit lost, I figured out that I actually spawned at the quest location. So I ran back to my spawn to complete subtasks for first in line. Okay, hey, yeah, uh, here we go. See, look, I'm, I've already picked up some things. Hello, little Timmy is sleeping here. Holy shit, that's pretty fucking sick. Hey, yo. Just here, morphine. As it happens, I ended up finding a lot more morphine on this table in particular throughout my later raids on Ground Zero. This is good to know from the start because you're going to need eight found in raid morphines in total for quests. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna go the way I know. Because I need to get into that, like, GL room that's up here. That's quite far away. Okay. Very good. Yet again, it seemed the center of this map would lead to chaos. Without much experience knowing how to path on this map, I can only send it and hope for the best. Oh, 
Right, I'm going to just try to waltz down the center here. Fuck. Uh oh. Oh, the car's there, the car's there. This is ridiculous. Uh oh. Stress. I knew extracting the car was going to be tricky as everyone was fighting for the same quest. So seeing this opportunity come to me early, it was hard to resist. And let's be honest, I had to fight my way out of that raid too. Okay, quick reset, we run it back. Alright, so we need to go to the GL and MG this raid. I spawned in the terror group building. Where the fuck am I? This, oh, okay, right, so we need to go down there. Isn't it like the end bit here that I need to go in? Shit. Thank you so much for the five gifted man. I really appreciate that. Thank you. But like up here is where I need to be. Hmm. Maybe not. I think I'm in the wrong place, guys. How the fuck do I get up there? This gun is dangerous. Okay, so I need to go up there. Do I need to go through the barbed wire, boys? The MP5 was really starting to click with me. This thing was cheap, accurate, and easy to control. A no-brain recommendation for anyone wanting a cheap gun for questing. Lights, camera, action, and away we go. Hello there. Whoa, SKS. This is nuts. Get gatted. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah. So, oh, it's just splendid, is it not? It's just, it's, oh. I don't know what gun that is. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure how this happened, but that comedic slip out the window could cost me this raid. Remember, I'm just a Timmy with a limited amount of meds, and something like a propital stim would be really good right about now.
don't know if I killed him. Against all odds, I managed to take that guy out. This just goes to prove that you should never give up on your raid. No matter how bad it looks, all you can do is pray that what seems like the impossible might just be possible. All right, we're good. Accidentally fell out a window and killed another guy. Oh yeah, he died. Okay. Oh, that's nice. What the fuck? Homie was using BP. With a bit more health to my name, it was time to look at the possibility of getting all this loot out of raid. There's a lot of like sounds and I'm not really interested. I'll be honest. That this one back here, that looks like a GL up there. Yeah, it is. Upstairs in here, I'm pretty sure is where I need to be. Okay, this is good progress so far, I think. It's looking like this way. The GL, if I'm right, is in here. I'm wrong. GG. I'm right. GG. Okay. Now we need to get out. Uh, let's see how much ammo we've got in here. I believe this Andy had some good shit on him. Okay. So no. PS. All right. We'll keep his good ammo. All right. So I'm video gaming. Where do I need to go? Uh, yeah. I need to go Emicom. All right. So I just need to cross. Uh, let's, let's just pick up a little GPU real quick. Whoa, barbed wires really slonked me up, man. I was only in it for like two fucking seconds. I'm borange. It's like my plan is just go down here to the left and like follow this area down to... Might struggle getting out of this though, because I've got to go past the whole fucking map. I've killed two people, but still. Doesn't make my chances any easier. Wipe day is a wipe day, baby. Yeah, it's much nicer with Vault on V. I feel like I can extract here. Yeah, this is it. This is it, boys. We've done it. We got three kills and we got a quest or two. Solid raid, solid raid. Progression was going well for me and I was starting to get to grips with the latest map in Tarkov, Ground Zero. I was getting comfortable, but my mission now was to look for those dreaded Salewas. And for that, Customs was the map that came to mind. Alright, let's try this again. Rat bastard. Might be another one closer. Uh oh. Level fucking six, eh? Level six. Shotgun seems pretty good. <laughs> Brother. Yeah, I think something's up with flesh damage, boys. I don't know, either that guy had no armor on or I don't know. I think I'm onto something here. Shotgun might just be the most broken item in the game right now, alongside the fucking Mosin. 
It's possible there's something strange going on with the ballistics here, or maybe I was getting lucky. But what I can tell you is dropping PMCs has never felt this easy. It's fun. It kind of makes you realize how much the old recoil system was way over the top. And what we have now is just much more natural. I feel like I'm going to get camps coming out of there. Oh my fucking god. There's a maniac on the loose. Alright, so we're going to avoid stronghold this raid. What is wrong with people? I don't really want any interaction with them. Hmm, I should actually kill that. I need to get let's get kills. Scav kills. These new SKS iron sights are so weird. Oh my god. They are making a lot of money though. Okay. Okay. Right. Why is he indestructible? Uh, I don't understand this game sometimes, guys. That extract is indeed open. Is it more efficient to crawl than drop the bag? Yeah, because you can regen while scrolling and you can move forward at the same time. Yeah, you can actually see in these dark spots now. That's mad. I see a lot of people have been struggling with their shotgun kills this wipe, and I get it. Shotguns are rough sometimes, and they can feel pretty inconsistent. But I really think in order to do well, there is no secret weapon build or ammo type you should use. Personally, I like Magnum Buckshot, but it doesn't really matter. The reason I'm successful with a shotgun is because of my playstyle. And this is where I think a lot of people fall short. They don't adapt their playstyle when using a shotgun, then by default they blame the gun when they die. This thing's fucking deadly. I wonder how I'm gonna get over here. What the fuck? There's a stash there. Don't mind if I do, I guess. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh no, that's Santa Claus. Did I just kill Santa? Looks like I forgot how to aim on that last one. Oh shit, man. What's going on here, boys? I don't like this. Uh oh.
fucking player scav. Oh, no way. It's looking pretty much like Santa. I think it's over for me. As a wise man once said, there's a time you should move and a time to be still. And this is definitely one of those moments you'd want to move quickly. I think I'm glad to be where I am in life. Fucking hell. Oh, that was a little bit stressful. Uh, please say there's no one called Santa on here, so I think I'm okay. How much XP was that? 5.5k. Such a big raid for a small Timmy. And I did all that with regular 7mm buckshot too. It might have just been scavs, but that shotgun setup was fun. And it really did impress me. And I don't think I'll shy away from picking up this gun again. After a couple more raids, I think I found one of my Salewas, but before I knew it, I had another Ground Zero task pop up. So it was back there to look for a wine bottle. All right, let's go to the wine store, homies. Round Zero is a great map. It might not look like the most beginner friendly, but it's another layer of the progression to this game. And it's a realistic representation of what Tarkov is all about. It's chaos and I love it. Fuck me, he just flew over. Bro, yeah, it's this MP5 is not a joke. I've got the worst ammo in the video game and it just deletes people. Classic. Level one. Holy fucking cheese. Okay. A lot of scavs here. Whoa, that can go back on his body. F me. It was really killing my vibe, man. I feel like... Th is that not the wine sort? Oh, this is it. Whoopsie. Hey, I'm in here. Do I need to do anything else or is that it? Um, locate and obtain the wine bottle in the... Hmm, okay. Brilliant. I wonder which one of seven fucking hundred... Oh. Found it. <laughs> okay, so Nagatoni. was the guy I had. Poor lad didn't know what hit him. Just got a bullet to the back of the head. Unfortunate for him, but I'm still gonna soak up all his loot. How bright this game is now, like at night. I think this guy had a Yushanka. Oh! This is huge. Huey, thank you so much for the 18 months, dude. <sighs> Three PMC kills. That was pretty sick. Dude, the MP5 claps. I don't care what anyone says. Where are we at? 
Okay. Okay. So I'm level 9 now and we've been making good progress. You know, not too many struggles. And with that comes the introduction of new quest lines on a map we haven't played yet. Kind of a new map actually. The reworked Shoreline. And let me just say this right now, Shoreline might just be my favourite map after this. Uh, the spawn is of spawns that we are like. Am I me just slowly but Shoreline. This just, this, this walkway here just looks incredible to me. Like the game is so sharp. But now I thought I'd ease my way into this map by doing a loot run for Salewas. You see, ever since dynamic loot was added to the game, Resort got a major buff for the amount of med bags, boxes, and sports bags. And for a Timmy with no keys, you're gonna see just how valuable this actually is. Watch me get it in the first bag. Another SJ. This is one of those loot runs where you don't really need to remember anything. You just run into West Wing and search every room one by one. You'll soon get familiar with the layout and before you know it, heading into Resort will be second nature to you. I always feel like going to Resort for the first time in a while is scary and well, this is a nice way to ease into it. Uh, that appears to be Santa Claus. Right, well, Santa's doing a runner. Hi, Santa. Uh oh, Santa. Don't pay attention to that. Santa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Have some smokes, mate. Just, please, just take anything. No, I need that. I need that. No, no, no. I need that one. Yes. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I just gave you that. We also just admire how fucked this sky got. Oh. Level one. Foamy have been a looting. All right, can I go play with Santa now? I mean, uh, continue my loot run. Now, I know I'm not showing you what's in every bag, but that would simply take too long. Just pay attention to the loot in my backpack filling up as I continue to hit a ridiculous amount of these bags. The amount of loot here. Just crazy, isn't it? Yeah, the loot was really good. And I'd done this run about six times or so after this one, so I wasn't just getting lucky this time around. I'm gonna have to skip ahead here because it feels like there's hundreds of bags and I'm already pretty much full. So at this point, it's a case of swapping out my loot for more expensive items. I don't like this. I love how deadly I actually feel with this pistol. Yo, you can actually see in these windows. That is insane, bro. Biggest W change I've ever seen. Oi, oi, here we go. Oh, hello. Whoosh. Spooky little fucker. Good night, Jafuli's man. Okay, all right, this is an important raid. This is my last Iskra, second car battery. I know I'm greeting, but I would just love my last Salewa. This is truly a great run for Salewas, and I highly recommend it. And as you can see, I got unlucky this time and didn't find any, but I mean, just look at this loot. Sorry, I don't want what you're selling. Yeah, that's new, right? It's so cool. <laughs> It's really sick. This shoreline rework is insane. It honestly, like, it's... It's really cool. Like, the entire landscape is different. You know what? If there was ever a time to pop an SJ6 to get out of a fucking Timmy raid, it would be now. The shape of the map is different, like, on this area. So this next bit here on my right, for example, like... It just looks way better. It's just so much cooler than what was there before. But you can sort of see, you remember like the stuff that was there before. Like it was sort of looked similar to that, but now it looks much better. And then you've got the radio tower up on the right as well. Less trees, cleaner space to fight people in. Like 
in terms of like gameplay yeah that's why i'm glad i got out when i did in terms of gameplay i think this is like a big step up like it's gonna make shoreline a lot more fun didn't get a last labor but oh my was it a big raid oh my was it a big raid oh yes <laughs> After that raid, I grinded out a few monotonous quests in order to reach level 15, which would unlock the flea market. This is one of the first big milestones you reach in the early game. It opens up the game to the point you can almost run whatever you feel like, instead of picking from what limited options the traders have. And with that in mind, I'd hard focus my quests. I'll skip past the boring stuff, but here's a quick factory raid. is this thing? All right, GG. I'm excited for this raid. First time always hurts. Why am I just getting this again? After my short-lived success in factory, I unlocked the flea market, kitted out a sniper and headed straight into woods for some Tarkov shooter quests. Oh! First one done. Ouchie. <laughs> Do we even go and loot them? I think we go have a little look. Nice helmet, Bozo. Yeah, he was a bear. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's definitely his friend. Fuck it, I'm gonna try it. Right below me. Hi guys. This suddenly went very sour. I think that guy ran off, which is good to be honest, because either way, I had no choice. I needed to push and find some food, otherwise I wasn't getting out of this raid. I think he rotated to try push where I was hiding on 1 HP, which is smart, but what he doesn't know is I'm out of energy and I'm searching in his dead mate's pockets for some food. Pretty sure he's above me. Fuck, there goes my painkillers. How many did we get? Those first two shots at the start of that raid were nuts. Yeah, four kills. 109 meter headshot, 137, 50 and 50. Fuck, yeah. I didn't get all the PMCs, but I did get away with my life and another quest completed. Tarkov Shooter Part 4. And after grinding out a few more quests from Jaeger, now it was time to do Tarkov Shooter Part 8. 3 PMCs with a bolt action headshot, without dying, and this is how it went. Whoa! Oh god, I'm sliding. Recoil change is godlike. Yeah, this one's fucking. This one's going on YouTube, boys. I haven't looted any of the people so far. Bottom beanie.
Oh my goodness. Elder Turtle with a fucking raid. Five point two K XP in fourteen minutes. Four kills. See, I was gonna end it there, but then something cool happened. It fucking snowed. And I know everyone's probably sick of the snow at this point. I mean, it is actually gone. But for Tarkov, it was something really special. I didn't want to miss out on putting snow in a video. I wasn't actually in the live raid when it started snowing, but this was my first raid in the snow. I'm in the snowy swamp, bro. There you go. And you guessed it. It's time we actually started doing our shoreline quests. Yes. Done. That is not an ambulance I need. I've got a sneeze coming. Oh, God. Oh. I don't feel good. Finicky little motherfucker. <clears throat> 12th try lucky. Okay, now we gotta go see the dead bodies at a resort. This is just a bit of a... Laughs in 12 times optic. There's so many weapon boxes here. Oh my god. Yeah, I was totally absorbed by how fun it was to play this game in the snow. It's something really special, man. Literally, I can see people walking into pier. That's the safe room building in pier. It looks like an opening in the trees there. I might be able to actually see some stuff going on. Literally snipe from the oh my god. Ain't no fucking shot. Bolting best mechanic in the video game. Shit. No, I nearly had it. That body distracted me, man. I'm having so much fun. Oh my god, I spot a guy. This is so fucking brilliant. I can literally see people running from fucking miles away. This is my dream. Oh my god. For fuck's sake. Ah, uh, only in Tarkov, right? It's not all bad though. Because of that death, I made a brilliant discovery. The Org. Where's he gone? Back to his stash, that's where he's gone. 23 AVS. Um, I'm looking kind of fucking sick right now in the snow. Bit of a weapon. So as I power through some of these quests in the background here, we need to talk about the Yorg. This gun is completely stock and it feels like a laser beam. The first 15 rounds, in fact, have zero recoil. And that makes bursting with this gun very, very powerful. And if you don't understand why immediately, it's because the recoil resets whenever you stop firing. Oh, that's huge. So in theory, you can just keep on getting the first 15 rounds of no recoil over and over again. All you have to do is stop shooting and start spraying again.
get me out. Just get me out. Alright, that was a fucking great raid. One kill, a couple of quests, and some juicy loot. Not the biggest win, but a pretty large one. Okay, one last raid for you now, and as always, it's a good one. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm gonna look at the filing cabinets here, because they're actually fucking worth it. Oh, I don't think this is a big one. Is he dead? I don't think he is. It looked like I shot him in the head. I think he's dead, guys. Oh, he's dead as fuck. This gun's sick. These are the first guys I've seen that have drip other than me. Head, throat. Oh my god, level 29. I was only about level 25 at the time, and I'd been leveling pretty quick, so it was surprising to see someone of this level. 10 scav kills and another marker down, that's all I need. One tapped both of them. Honestly, this this, <laughs> this scope is so nice for one tapping. I know it like, looks silly, but all you got to do is put the head in the black ring and shoot. What I need is a scav army to just spawn on top of me right now. gun is beautiful. Just simply beautiful. I don't see any sniper scabs up there. I've got to look at the PCs in here. I know I'm pretty stacked, but like, you know, I kind of need CPU fans, so. It's fine. Maybe getting baited to my death here, guys. It's like he's there baiting me for the bridge. Smashing windows on the other side, trying to make me come to the window. Can go down. Is the org any good? It's incredible. I love it.
Do I have anything that's worth saving? I don't know. Four energy. Yeah, we just leave. How are we using? Uh, 55A1 top loaded. Then with just regular M855. Honestly, it doesn't matter at this point because you can fully auto so accurately that you can just shoot people in the head multiple times without a problem. Just a shame there's not so many scabs and I'm going to have to come back here. Yeah, 7 out of 10 scabs would be nice. It would be nice to get some more here. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. 17 energy as well. Might be two here. Let's see. Ah, it's over, bro. It's over. I don't think you can get food in a fucking med bag either. Finally, a bit of RNG, finally RNG in my favor, ain't no way. Found an exit, let's get out of here. This might be my first video of the wipe, but I've already gotten Kappa now and I'm starting to farm for tracksuit, for the first time by the way. And I can safely say this is the best wipe. It's so much fun, and yeah it has its issues that can be annoying sometimes, but at the end of the day it doesn't stop me from loving this game and pouring my soul into these videos. I spent a lot of time on this one, more time than I probably should have, but take that as a sign of me really enjoying the work I do. Guys, all my content is free, and if you want to help me out, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube, leave me a comment down below telling me what your favourite weapons have been this wipe, and come check me out live on Twitch. We're currently pushing for Partner Plus as well, and we're very close. If you can, a Twitch sub would go a long way. Anyway, enough of the shameless plugs, big love everyone, and I'll catch you next time.